Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. Securing agent utilities. Have you ever wanted to prevent a utility from being run on an agent without the overhead of enabling CTM security? We're going to show you how to do this. We're going to secure what utilities the agent can run by creating a file in the control them server machine underneath the data AG defs AG util permit directory. The host name will be the name of the file and its content will be a list of the utilities which are allowed. This is documented in BMC article number 104887. In our demo today, we're going to take a look at how to configure the security on the utilities. Now, I've already logged into the Control-M server and I've changed directory over to the CTM server home directory, um, data AG permit utils directory. In this directory, create a file called all utils. This is a listing of all of the utilities. And you see it just is a quick list so that I already have them available. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to bring up another shell that's moved over to the control M agent. Um, I've already put a CTM contp command in here that shows me a listing of all the files that are available. And as you see right here, um, you see that this is returning uh, the conditions which were set for the 26. Now, if I come back over here and I create a file with the name of the machine, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and copy the uh, all utils, and the name of this machine is W8K-64-SSL. And we're going to edit this list. and we're going to comment out the utility. Okay, and after we minimize this. Now there's no restart or anything required, but we're gonna go rerun the same utility. And as you can see this time, we actually received an error. Um, we don't give a notification that this is actually an authorization error. Um, this is more of a security feature. Uh, if we go back to the file, we can actually Come back over here and we're going to do something a little different here. And if you don't want to run any utilities, we can just take everything out of here. And so we're basically going to save an empty file. And when we go run the utility, we're going to get the same error. So basically, as long as you create a file that has the name of the agent, um, then you're going to be able to prevent this. Now this is validated off of the name of the agent is what it's set in its logical agent name. So if we run the diagnostic ag underscore diag underscore com, this agent, we're going to see that the agent is actually known as W8K64-SSL. Um, if you want to modify this value, this is actually um, can be set using the CTM AG CFG utility. And if we go underneath the advanced parameters, um, this is where you set the logical agent name. Now, the logical agent name should match the host name that the control room server knows the agent as. Um, these two should be synced up, and this is how the agent identifies itself when it initiates its session back to the control room server. And when the control room server talks to the agent, it will actually look to see if this name matches. When these don't match, you'll actually see error messages in the NS log talking about a mismatch between the logical agent name and the name of the control M agent. Thank you for your time. The workload automation support team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.